So I thought today, since I'm on a dowsing trip as usual, I'd show you what I do to map these lines. So I'm out in the countryside and uh, I'm actually following a couple of lines trying to sort out which one's which and where they go. And I have with me some kit. First of all, I have my backpack. In there is some waterproof gear, something to wear if it gets colder, something to sit on, water, geological hammer, and also, very importantly, my flying camera, just in case um, I need to take some aerial shots of a church or something. I'm also carrying two phones. One is my regular iPhone, and I use this for keeping in touch with people, but also um, I use it to make sure I know where I am. And then this new Android phone, on which I have an application called Dowsing Mapper. And that's all I have. I only use it for that, and so I, it's not actually a functional telephone. It just basically has internet service, network service, that's it. And of course, my dowsing rod, which is also key to dowsing. And the reason why I have two phones is because the dowsing manager app stopped working on my iPhone, completely crashed out, is no longer compatible with iOS. And so I reached out to the guy who wrote it, who isn't maintaining it anymore. And he told me it still works out on Android. So I bought an Android phone and sure enough, it does work. It's a little bit different. So it's taking me some time to get used to it, but it does work. And so my life is saved. I don't have to walk around with pencils and paper maps. That's what I carry. And on a warm day like today, it's quite a lot, I sweat a bit. So I need the water. And now what we're gonna do is head off with the dowsing rod and start looking for the line that I know must pass through this district area somewhere. After walking a short distance, I usually ask the rods to help me a little bit to see how far the line might be, if there is one, ahead of me, just like this. So, is there a line ahead of me? Uh-huh. Is it less than 50 metres? Is it less than 100 metres? Is it less than 200 metres? Less than a kilometre? Less than half a kilometre? Okay, it looks like we've got something like half a kilometre of walking to do before we find it in that direction. So, we'll carry on and see how far we have to go. Actually, as usual, the rods were highly accurate and within half a kilometre I found the pair of lines in this area of natural beauty called Bobrava. The line that I found starts just about here where the rod swings. There we go. So it looks like I've found a line just about here. So the first thing to do is to check what kind of line I've got, because what I'm looking for is type fours and type four line should be around 90 paces wide. So let's count it out from the beginning all the way through to the end and check that in fact, this is a 90 pace wide line and not just a, a 25 or a 15. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 31, 32, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 47, 48, 79, 82, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 92, 92 paces wide, that's a type 4 line. So the next thing is to find the middle of the line. Now the middle of the line isn't necessarily the middle of the line. It's not 45 paces in, no. It's where the line is strongest and the middle band is. And to do that, we once again use the stick. We ask the stick to find the middle. Here we go. 
Where's the middle of the line? Show me the middle, please. Okay, so the sticks are indicating that this is the middle of the line, the actual middle band amongst all the bands in the line, and this is the point that we'll mark on the app. So this is the Dowsing Mapper app, and as you can see, um, it has my position through GPS, so I'm simply going to mark my position. And the next step is to find the direction of the line. So for that, I need the stick. Show me which way the line goes. Which way does the line go? Okay, seems to be that sort of direction. Not sure I can do this with two hands. So let's align the app with north. Better calm down a minute. Okay. So, roughly aligned with north now so I've actually used the stick with the app without the camera and put the alignment in now I'm going to go to the next piece of work which is to establish what the polarity of this line is is it positive or is it negative for that we again need the stick okay so are you positive are you negative okay it's not not helping me are you male are you female this is embarrassing come on talk to me are you male uh-huh are you female are you positive are you negative are you male Okay, so this is a male line, and we now have to indicate that in here. I use the value of 9, we save it, and there's our new point on the map. Now, actually, it seems like GPS was a bit inaccurate, and... The point has moved, but I can move the marker around and place it in the right place. And there we go. So we now have a positive line, type 4 line, marked on the map. It's moving around a bit because GPS isn't entirely accurate. It's accurate within four meters, it tells me. But this is good enough. It's good enough. If we put the app in view mode, then I can start to see what I've done today already. And I have a feeling that this should join with that. It doesn't look like it at the moment, but um, we'll persevere. We'll find the female line and map it. it Maybe I got the direction slightly wrong because I'm handling three different items with two hands and it's a bit difficult so i'm going to do this again off film to make sure i get the direction correct so here's a strange thing i mapped the male with you guys and then i carried on walking looking for the female i walked quite some distance and then asked the rods where is the female and it pointed me back in the direction i'd come from so i realized okay maybe i missed the female so i walked back through the male line and immediately found the female on the other side which means I missed the female walking through it. And I was asking myself, well, why would I do that? Why would I miss the female? And I realized when I looked around me that the reason why was because my attention had been distracted by something as I was walking this part of the uh, trail. And that is that over there, I noticed what looked like a tree trunk with, with a stone sitting on top. I, in fact, I still don't know what it is. And I wondered, what on earth is that and why is it there? Well, I'm stood in the middle of the female line and so is that. So I'm going to go and take a closer look at it because it was that that distracted me from the rod when I walked through the female line. 
So actually it's just an old tree stump or a piece of a tree sticking up and with my poor eyesight it looked like some kind of a marker was sat on top of a tree trunk which is not what it is and sometimes I find things like markers that I believe are set by the shaman or somebody doing something with me I'm not quite sure what because it happens sometimes and then I'm all puzzled as to how someone would know I might be here and anyway it's a long story and probably a figment of my imagination but nonetheless it was this that distracted me. I'm in the female line and I'll show you the details of that in a second. So I used the flying camera or the drone to show you me mapping the female line and going through the motions of finding the direction, plotting it in the app and making sure it was the female line as well. On a typical day of dowsing, I enter many of these points and follow the line across countryside as best I can, either hiking or jumping from place to place in the car. It's what I enjoy doing, and it just devastates me where these lines take you at times. So, as you can see, I mapped both lines and have entered them into the app. And so we're ready to start thinking about where we go next. And I'll talk about that in a minute. And actually what I did was I went back to the car and I looked on the map to see another road where the line might cross. And I drove over to that location and drove quite slowly through the area that I thought the line might go through dowsing in the car. Not something you should do without due care and attention, obviously. And I found the line again, went through the same process and then the same process again. And I followed the line for several kilometres that afternoon. And then in the evening when I got home, I opened the app in view mode and I transferred the points to Google Maps. So this is what that looks like after a day's dowsing work. As you can see, I was tracking two lines that afternoon and I still have some work to do to be sure that this is correct and to follow the lines even further across country. Please do like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.